What is up guys? Uh, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. As you can see, I am starting a new game today. It's Mega Man X. Uh, I'm playing this Legacy Collection on the PS4. So yeah, I thought I would go back into some uh, retro gaming after our previous Resident Evil. So let's jump right into it. Oh. Okay, you know what? Let me change the screen size. Mm. Okay. We were born before these games, man. Yeah, yes, we were. Okay, so yeah, this is just a short intro of uh, what this is all about. So yeah, you can read through them, but I'll give you the long and a long or short of it. It's um, but if have you watched those? Uh, ever watched that movie I Robot by uh, Will Smith? Yeah, I would say the premise of the game is similar to that. <laughs> Have they done a live action for this franchise? Live action? No, unfortunately not. Alright, here we go, the opening screen, yes! Oh man, I just love the music. There's something about this uh, this game is that, uh, one thing I like about this game is the music, the, the score itself, the music score itself. It's so, it's so funky and catchy, you know? Alright, so here we go, Mega Man X. So uh, yeah, you can move him left to right, you can jump, and you can shoot with your X Buster. So this is basically how you will be playing throughout the game, and uh, you just have to get to the end of it. Without dying. <laughs> yeah, so this is the pretty much the opening stage, uh, like a tutorial stage where they teach you how to play the game. And uh, it's not too difficult, ouch. Ah. Oh yeah, by the way, you can charge up your shot. Yeah, like if you hold down the fire button, right, it would make, uh, X will just uh, charge up the shot and it will fire one f uh, Mega Buster. Seriously, would have jumped up, jumped by instinct with those incoming vehicles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's the background. <laughs> Alright. It's not an... I wouldn't say it's an easy game to play, it just requires um, some practice, I suppose, yeah. I mean, there, there are some pros out there who can speedrun this game in, like, don't know how many how many minutes within the hour. But I'm not, I'm not going to speedrun this, I'm just going to take my time and play and enjoy the music. Oh yeah, you can climb walls too. No, no. Speedrunners are show-offs. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, no comments. <laughs> oh crap. I almost forgot about this. Ooh. 
I remember playing this for the first time on an emulator and it was so difficult, I died so many times. Oh. Oi. Have speed run a game. Have sped run a game. Um, I think I have. Yeah, but not on screen. Just like in my free time, you know, when I have nothing to do, I just speed run for the fun of it. Yeah, but I never really compare my timings with other people's timing. I just I just compare it with my old timing and all that. And you know, if I if I do better, eh, that's great. If not, then I'll just try again. Alright. So this ship, yeah, just keeps throwing cars at you. Oh, what is this? Boss fight? Okay, so this is like a, an initial boss fight. You don't really have to concern yourself. Because, um... Yeah, if your health gets low enough, whoa, he will trap you with some kind of energy. It's all scripted. You worthless piece of scrap metal, did you think you could defeat me? Spat run RE, yes I have. <laughs> yes, I have uh, spat run RE before. Oh, what's this? Right, you have your buddy here, Zero. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full po full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. Okay. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information. On Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Alright, okay, so safe. Early game developers save a lot of money from voiceover. Oh yeah, yeah, yes they do. Right, okay, so now that you have defeated the intro stage, you will come to this um, main screen here where there are eight stages that you can choose from to uh, to play. So you have to complete all eight stages, and at the end of each stage, there is a boss to fight. And um, yeah. So part of the fun of the game is that okay so every every boss that after after every boss you defeat you will receive a special weapon from them and this special weapon is uh, particularly effective on one of the other eight bosses so and then you use that weapon after defeating the boss to go fight a different boss so the trick the part of the fun of the game is to figure out which weapon works best for which boss yeah, so it's all trial and error back then, and uh, there is a lot of um, playability and and uh, just from figuring out on the weaknesses of each boss. All right. Okay. So yeah, if you want to see in depth, uh, you can click on the map here, and you can see where the stages are, where each stage uh, is located at on the map. And uh, if you click on the spec here, you can see in detail which, uh, what are the bosses' uh, names and all that. So you can see this is Spark Mandrill, Attack Electric Spark, Dash Punch, Storm Eagle. Yeah, the interesting thing is that all these bosses are based on an animal. And uh, I think that's really cool. Alright, so out of this egg, I would definitely go for uh, this guy first. Alright, let's see. Do the stages come with time limits? Uh, no. No, they don't.
Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, they don't come with time limits, so you can take your time to um, play the stage. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Yeah, so part of enjoying, part of the game, uh, part of fun of the game as well is uh, enjoying the, like I say, the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack in the original X game. Uh, X2, not so much. You can absolutely just um, blast through the stage without killing enemies. Yeah. There is no, there's no point system, so you don't really have to worry about uh, scoring points, killing how many enemies. If you can dodge them, dodge them. All you have to do is just survive to the end of the stage and uh, fight the boss. Would you ever do a walkthrough of Cupheads? Oh yeah! Hey, you know what I might? I have seen the gameplay of Cupheads before and I thought it looked interesting. It reminded me of um, Mega Man X games like this. Cupheads, I mean. Yeah, and I would like to try that. I I heard it's tough. It's really tough. But uh, hey, who knows? Oh man, come on! Hey, jump! What is wrong with this? Okay. Oh yes, nice one up. Good luck, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, I I have seen some videos of people playing Cuphead and they are just rage quitting. Alright, okay, so we got our first armor capsule. Ah, oh, that's Dr. Light, by the way. So we've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight, okay? Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Alright. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Oh nice! Good luck, X. Alright, so that is uh, Dr. Light. Alright, okay, so this is uh, one of the four armor capsules that you find in-game. Every every X game will have four of these or more. So, yeah, so with this capsule, you will be able to dash and uh, increase your speed. Oh, that capsule's gone. So there are four in this game, and they are it's all uh, secretly hidden. And yeah, part of the fun is to find where all these are. So now they have the leg capsule, the other three would include would be uh, the one for the head, one for the arms, and one for the body. Whoa, go away. Oh. Yeah, so with the licks, with the licks upgrade, it is uh, so helpful. You can do a dash jump as well, which allows you to jump faster and further. Is this game based on a manga or an anime? You know what? I have no idea. I think it's based on. Hmm. I don't know whether it was based on anything, but I know there is a, an anime adaptation or even a manga adaptation. But I don't know which came first. I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh. Alright, here we go. Okay, so yeah, we have reached the boss. I just have an awesome game you could do, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Ah, oh, I need to find that. I need to find whether if it's on uh, PS4 or not. <laughs> okay, so here we go, our first boss battle. Uh, chill Penguin. Look at this guy. Oh, 
Okay, so you want to watch out for his uh, ice breath. It will he will freeze you in place and um, yeah, he will just dash at you. Oh, so all this oh, so all the bosses have um attack attack patterns and uh, if oh see there you go, you get whoa. So all these all, all bosses have attack patterns and uh, if you're able to figure out their attack patterns you will you can easily dodge them. Whoa. Come on. Finish on with, with a charge shot, come on! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 come on, come on! Come on, boy! And KO! Nice! Poof! But there will be a million episodes. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it? Is that right? <clears throat> Excuse me? Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I heard like all like some of the old Star Wars game are uh, quite fun to play. Okay, so you get shotgun ice. Yeah, so this is one of the special weapons that you get uh, after defeating the boss. And uh, okay, let's see. So with the new weapon, shotgun ice, right? You can use it to take on the remain one of the remaining seven bosses. Now, which one of these seven bosses is weak against Shotgun Ice that you have to go figure out yourself? I already know which boss to go up against, but I will not go up against that boss. Instead, I will go against. I will go up to. I will go to this stage first. All right. So yeah, if you've ever, if you have played this game before, you will know. Yeah, you know that I am not going according to um, the traditional order. Storm Eagle. All right. Ah, this music. Yeah. I like I like this music. Okay, so if you do a dash jump here, you can find this heart tank here. So this heart tank, uh, there are eight heart tanks, one heart tank in every stage, and this heart tank increases your maximum life capacity. So after getting eight heart tanks, your life should be super long. So yeah, there are many secrets in all in all the uh, Mega Man games, and uh, yeah. It's fun to find all of them. Ooh. All right. So over here, you want to take uh, this lift all the way to the all the way upwards and uh, shoot the window. There is an enemy here. You have to just uh, destroy this enemy. And at the end of the tower here, you will find this sub tank. Now this sub tank is uh, there are four of these in game. So what this sub tank do is that, yeah, see the bottom left corner over there. Yeah. So the, what the sub tank do is that it collects all the health pickups for you and stores it for you. So in case of emergency, you can just um, use a sub tank to replenish your health. All right. So this uh, this is where all the, your weapons are stored. You got the X Buster and you have the shotgun ice. All right. Let's go. Oh. Oh no 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 no! Oof. Oh sorry, I thought I was gonna fall then.
Okay, now there is a... There's kind of like a secret in here. You just gotta fire the uh, tanks. Um, yeah, I'll just show you what it is at the end. If you can pick it up, that's fine. If you don't want to, it's fine as well. Because there'll be plenty of judges to take later on. Yeah, so by destroying that, you can go to the end and there'll be a one-up. Alright, so now I should have four life. Alright. Ooh. Is there anything here? Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so just destroy uh, this flammable tanks, and there is a second capsule in here. Hurrah! This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, nice, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt, okay. Jello man. <laughs> right, so step into the capsule to receive your head upgrade, nice. Yeah, so with the head, uh, the head upgrade, the helmet upgrade, you can destroy bricks like this. Okay, so as you can see, X is becoming more and more upgraded. Uh, yeah, with just the leg and the helmet. So two more parts to go. Whoa, hey, nope. Oh, come on. I think Mario has the same helmet. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, is that right? Okay. You know, surprisingly, I've never played any... Or rather... Mm, I only played, like, the original version of the Mario. Same ability. Oh... Is that right? Okay. Crushing bricks. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay. So we are coming up to the boss now. You know, surprisingly, yeah. Surprisingly, I've never played a lot of Mario games. I only probably played like the very first original one, and I was terrible at it. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> I wonder if anybody streams Pac-Man or Pong. Eh, hey, you never know. There might be. Okay, so this boss is relatively easy. Storm Eagle is relatively easy. So what he will try to do is just like push you off the edge uh, using uh, the wind. Yeah. So and if you drop off the edge, of course you'll die. Other than that, he will just swoop down from the air. Whoa! And try to damage you. Which is easily avoidable. And if you're fast enough, you can sh uh, damage him mid air. Whoa. Instant death? Yes, instant death. Alright. Final shot. Ugh, come on. Dead. There you go. Two down. Six to go. Dun, 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 
You get Storm Tornado. Nice. I realize you can't fire your weapon vertically. Yes, you cannot. You need to jump and shoot. If not, there will be other kind of special weapons you can use to fire above you. Okay, so from Storm Eagle, what I usually do is I will go to uh, this stage. So this stage is, um, yeah, you will see. Flame Mammoth. Alright, so yeah, Flame Mammoth for some reason, he is weak against uh, Storm Tornado. Okay, so... Alright, so just a fun fact. This whole stage is actually inside a factory that has a lot of fire. Now what I'm standing on is actually frozen lava. Uh, if you come here, if you come to this stage uh, for the very first time... Oh yeah, he's fat. <laughs> if you come here for the very first time in this stage, right, there will be lava all over the place and the moment you step on the lava, you will die. So the reason why it's not lava now, it's because uh, I have defeated uh, Chill Penguin. So if you defeat Chill Penguin and then you come here, the lava will be frozen over. Which makes it easier to walk. So yeah, so these are just like some of the small little special effects I like uh, that the game puts inside. Okay, so there is a third secret, uh, a third capsule here, an armor upgrade, which is just directly above me. Look at those blocks. Yeah, see those blocks? So those blocks, you can crush it with your helmet, but the thing is, it is a very high up. So what you have to do is you have to dash jump from this spot here, and you have to be pixel perfect, meaning you, cannot, you, ha you have to be exactly at the exact spot in order for it to work. A little too front or a little too back will not be able to work, yeah. You'll need a spring. Uh, good thinking, but I re you, won't ha you won't get a spring inside this game here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to just dash jump from here. It will take several attempts, but uh, it will eventually work. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so just keep mashing, go. Nice. This capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. Alright. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Nice. Okay, so so this so this upgrade is for your arm. So this is your arm upgrade. So what it does is it will increase your uh, Mega Buster. So your Mega Buster original, originally looks like this. Alright. And with the arm upgrade, it's totally something else. It's even more powerful, I think. So let us continue. Now if you keep going to the end here. I like this gun. Oh yeah. Yeah, keep keep going to the end, there's another hot tank. Yep. Ta Okay, so when you reach at the top platform here, alright, you want to go to the end here, and there should be another. Oh, come on, you, you guys. There's another one up. Nice. Uh, I have six health, six life now. Okay, 
So from here, right, you want to do a dash jump over to the far left. Now you cannot see anything on the far left, but I trust you. But I assure you, there is something there. Okay, yeah, there is the second sub tank over here, and with your leg upgrade, you should be able to break these bricks. All right, ta-da! Nice. So you have so this so that is uh those are all the secrets in the game uh for this stage I mean, and then we can proceed. Oh oh come on come on come on. Oh no, uh, annoying. Yeah, that's, that's, that is just one annoying thing that I hate about X Games. You know, if you get damaged, you get pushed back slightly. Yeah, just like that. Those fellas respawn, don't they? Yes, they do. Oh. Okay. Let us continue. Okay, so you wanna watch out for the compressor at the top there, it will smash you. Instant death. Ow. Ah, uh, that's not. Oh, there you go. He's dead. Okay. Uh, I hate this part. Ow. Yeah, I, I hate that guy, I hate that shield guy. Because you cannot damage him when his shield is up, so you need to wait for him to fire a shot first. And most of the time, you get hurt, but I usually don't care, I just... Yeah, so if let's say you're, you know, you're dying, you find yourself dying, and you have enough uh, health stored up in a sub tank, you can use it. And it will replenish your health. Goodbye. Alright, switch to Storm Tornado. Oops. Hello, big guy. Ow. So, what he's firing at uh, is like, whoa, come on, man. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, move. Yeah, what is this firing is like oil, I guess. Yeah, and if the fire catches the oil, whoa. It's not too difficult. Oh, dead. This Mega Max, so does that mean there are 9 before this one? <laughs> 9 games, that is. This is a very clever observation. Unfortunately, no. Uh, Mega Man X, this X does not mean 10 as what usually most people would think. No, this X means just X. Uh, there are no 9 previ previous games. You get Fire Wave, by the way. Uh, before Mega Man X, there is the classic Mega Man. They, they just call it Mega Man. And uh, it was... It, it's, it's much harder to play. <laughs> It is oh man, it gets it, it gets complicated here. I don't really know how to explain. <laughs> but I assure you there are no nine games before. This is this is the this is the first game in the X series. There is the Mega Man X series and then there is the classic Mega Man series. There are two different series, but they are the same Mega Man. Okay, so okay, so with that, uh, you I will proceed on to this guy over here. Yeah, X. The X in this title, Mega Man X, is his name. It doesn't mean 10, actually. I see, like, the iPhone Pro and Pro Max got it. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay, so, yeah, this is another one of the stage where I like the music. Now, again, uh, this stage has one of the special effects where, you know, if you go to a previous stage, like Storm Eagle stage, and you defeat Storm Eagle, uh, this stage would be different. Uh, if you come here for the first time, you will see electricity running all over the place, but, before, but because you defeated Storm Eagle, 
this ship supposedly crashed into this factory and the electricity has stopped flowing. So that is why you see nothing works and everything is like blacking out later. Yeah, see, there you go. Okay. Uh, there's no need to go down. Yeah, I'll, yeah, because there's a secret down there that you will not be able to get now. So you will have to come back to this stage later to get the secret. Electricity in games equals a death. Uh, right you are. Okay. Yeah, so you know, watch out for those flying fire flies, I suppose. They will just bump you off the edge and you will just fall into the pit and die. Okay, so just wait for the, the light to flash back on. Yep. Uh, no, no big issue. Excuse me. I think I'll do a stream of Final Fantasy and W. Oh, okay. Yeah, please do. Ow, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is what I mean, man. See, they will try to push you down if you're not careful. Nearly picked the <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have your first sub boss here. Now this sub boss is not too difficult if you have storm tornadoes, uh, storm tornado, because he is weak against storm tornado. Oh, come on, man! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, there you go. Mordok. Yeah, some stages will have uh, sub-bosses and some don't. So, yeah. They're not too difficult. Some of them have uh, weaknesses to certain special weapons. Some don't. I think so. I don't think so. Mm. I'm just going to destroy this because it's annoying. And, uh... Ow. Ow. I'm dying. Wow. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Give me health, give me health. So over here there is a secret heart tank. Let's be generous with the health recharge there, yeah. Okay, so this uh heart tank here you will need to do like a ugh, you need to do like a jump, a dash jump on it. Ah there we go. Must have been many deaths in beta. <laughs> uh I can't really I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but all the health drops are random, I guess, I assure you. Hmm. Don't know why I did that, I could just use this. Oh, hey, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Daddy long legs. Yep, oh, whoa. <sighs> nice. Alright, okay, here we go. Spock Mandrill. Alright, so his weakness is a shotgun ice. It totally freezes him. Now, some weaknesses to the boss would make sense, some don't. And uh, usually, some of the weaknesses you can. 
you know, you can explain like why this boss is weak to this certain special weapon. Alright. Whoa. So yeah, with shotgun eyes you're able to freeze him. Ow. Oh no, I'm dying. Poof. Cyborg. Paddle pop line. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he does look like a lion, doesn't he? Ta -da. Let's see what we get. You get electric spark. Alright, very nice. Okay, so with that, you want to go to uh, this guy. Armored Armadillo. Oh, this is a fun stage. Right, you get to write the card, yay! Ow! <laughs> Jump smack into that bird. Which boss guts do you hate the most? Oh my god. Which boss are? Uh? Hmm, good question. Ah! Uh... Oh come on, come on, come on! Do you mean like in this uh, first series or? Okay, so there is that is the third sub tank. Yep. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I think it would have to be. Ah. Uh, okay. It's it's not one of these eight bosses. I'll I'll show you. Yeah, you'll see later. It's one of the uh, bosses near the end stage. Okay, so yeah, if you destroy the the bone crushing beagle earlier on, you will be able to get up here and get these two health pickups. Nice. Oh. Yes, yes, give me health, more health. Oh. Okay, there is another secret. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There isn't a secret uh, on this stage, Armored Armadillo stage, but uh, you have to go pretty far. Whoa, almost died there. Yeah, it is near the end stage where you will find a secret. Uh, okay, for this one, okay, you will need to. Let me see. Let, let me try to recall. Do I? Okay. Okay, so you want to destroy this tank quickly with the fire wave. To get the next, uh, come on, come on, come on, man! A oh, few, okay. Okay, so there is another secret that you you want to get, and but in order to get that, you need to destroy this vehicle uh, quickly, so that you can get this hot tank over here. Oh, speaking of which, I think I forgot an, a hot tank somewhere. Okay, never mind. We'll go get it later, okay? Whoa, oh, ah, nah, whoa, almost died. 
Okay, so uh, one of the secret is up there or, or along this wall. Oh man, come on. Yeah, so yeah, when the uh, when the card came come crashing out, you can just do a dash jump over to the far right wall and you could find it. Do uh, I think you're supposed to like jump like uh, three or four times, and then on the fifth time, you should find a secret capsule. Okay, so let's switch to electric spark and get ready for a boss battle. Come on, boy. Oh. Okay, yeah, he's not too difficult. You just need to dodge his shots. Dead. This should be the last boss. Nope. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how many have we defeated? I think there's still a couple more. Easy peasy. You get rolling shield. Okay, nice. Boop. Boop. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, just now I mentioned there is one stage that I forgot. Uh, let's go back to Chill Penguin stage. Yeah, because after you've gotten the fire wave from the flame mammoth, you can come back here again to to get a hidden secret. You would need the fire wave to get the secret anyway, so yeah. Oh come on. Oh. Health, yes, health, health. Give me more health. Oh, yes, one up, nice. Are any of the game, me any of the Mega Man games multiplayer? And uh, not that I know of. As far as I know, Mega Man, all the Mega Man games are single player. I think there are no. Maybe there are. I just uh, haven't heard of, heard of it. Yeah. As far as I know, all Mega Man games are single player. Rush! Rush! Okay, so with the secret you want to take the right armor, you want to stand on this um, short platform over here and you want to jump up here and just use your fire wave to destroy this uh, igloo house and you can find the sub tank for this stage. Nice. Alright. Ta-da! Okay, so with that you can exit stage. Okay, so what we, we okay yeah. So after defeating Armored Armadillo, you can come to this stage next. Launch octopus, nice. Now just thinking, you know, when when they were developing this game, who come up with all these bosses' name? I just got a great idea. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oi. Oh 
combine all the bosses into a mega machine. <laughs> ah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, so we have another sub boss over here. Honestly, I hate this boss. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. Okay, now these fishes will just uh, pull you in and just suck your energy away. Uh, okay, I hate this one next because this boss always... Uh, I always die at this boss here. This uh, sub boss. Oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? It is so cheap. It is so cheap. <laughs> oh man, come on man. Ah, oh, there we go. Phew. That's cheap. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I think in every Mega Man game, there has to be at least one water stage and one um, air stage, I suppose. Sky stage, yeah. You can almost find uh, at least one water stage in every Mega Man game. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. So this is another secret in the game. What you want to do is you want to destroy this ship. Just a side question. Have you tried Yomeshu? Yeah, I think I have. Uh, but that was like super long time ago when I was a kid. <laughs> I forgot what it tastes like already. Okay, so there is another sub-boss here. And uh, yeah, you want to defeat this boss. It's not difficult. All you do is just aim the head or the tail. And once it's, once it's defeated, you can go all the way to the right and get the hot tank for this stage. Nice. Uh, why do you ask whether if I've tried Yomeshu, do you want to try? I heard it's good for energy. Oh, okay. Supposedly, yeah. Hmm. Thought of starting on it. Oh, okay. Try it. Try it. Let's try it. Either that or Dom. Oh, okay, okay. Dom, Dom sounds familiar. Okay, so Launch Octopus, his weakness is uh, Rolling Shield. You're not equipped. I don't really have a lot left, so uh, hopefully I can get him in the first try. Okay, so you want to be, be careful of his vortex, he will suck you in and try to steal your energy. Ow. Uh. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ow. Done. Dom VSOP. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I might have heard of that. But I have never tried it. Alright, okay, so you get homing torpedo. I think they made a spelling error there. The spell H O R M I N G. I think it's just H O M I N G. Uh, 
Okay, with that, let's see. We have two more bosses to go. This guy and this guy. Uh, okay, so let's go this guy. Yes. You like shot on sight. What do you mean you like shot on sight? What do you, what do you mean? Like shot on sight. Spelling error. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, I remember. Yes, I remember that shot on sight. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you still remember that. <laughs> okay, so I usually use the shotgun eyes on uh, that shield guy because the only way, the only weak point that he has is uh, on his back. So shotgun eyes is good for that, as it you can see that it ricochets uh, from the wall. Okay. Oh. oh, come on. This is a very tall tower. It seems like we're just heading up and up. Oh man. You know, every time I see spikes, it makes me nervous. <laughs> because it's just like instant death, and I don't want to die. Move, move, move. Whoa, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Oh, phew. Invulnerability frame. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Ooh. The Arox must own it. <laughs> okay, so... Whoa, whoa, wait. It's a long way up, guys. You can see a hard tank uh, on the ledge over there. Now there are two ways to get it, and uh, one is easy, one is difficult. I uh, one way is to use uh, this uh, the charge up version of this shotgun ice. So let me show you what it does. It all it does is that it will fire a X will create a, an ice platform, and it will move out and ride out to the end there. So so the so you can get the hard tank by this method, you just jump on the platform and when it goes up to the edge, right, all you have to do is just like quickly jump onto the ledge there and get the hard tank. But this but this way of getting is tricky and I am never I, I, I was never able to pull this off. So I'm gonna do it the easier way, which is to get uh, the special weapon for from this boss and come back again later to get this hard tank. Alright, so we will skip this for now. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Let's go, Kuanga. What was it called? Boomer. Is it Boomer Kuanga? <laughs> I think Kuanga is a kind of beetle, I guess. I don't know what a Kuanga is. Okay, so this guy will teleport around the screen and just throw that that boomerang thing at you, and. Uh, Homing torpedo is particularly effective against him because oh see 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 there he goes just teleporting around. Oh, goodbye. Basically, somebody built a tower field with killer robots to finish you off. Yep, that is right. A lot of effort. Mhm. Mm we could give them credit for it though. A for effort. Alright, let's see. You get a boomerang cutter. Nice. You know, some of these weapons, as cheesy as it sounds, are actually pretty... <laughs> they're pretty effective. <laughs> okay, so with the boomerang cutter, right, uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to Spark Mandrill stage to get an item. Because you can only get it through by using the boomerang uh, boomerang cutter. Okay. Actually, what am I doing? I just use this. Okay. Oh, one up. Nice. All right. Okay. So you can see on the right side of the screen there is a s the last sub tank. Yeah, so we got three ready. There's the last up tank. So what you need to do is you, need to, you change to the boomerang cutter and you need to jump and fire it. The boomerang cutter will get the sub tank for you and bring it back to you. So with that, we can exit stage. Is it just me or do some of the robot enemies remind you of CNY goodness, sweet sauce? <laughs> really? Are you kidding? Oh, okay. I think I know what you mean. Do you mean like the um, the rolling, the rolling circular spikes one? <laughs> Because I think that reminds me of the, um, I think one of the sweets or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we are here again back in the Boomer Koanga stage. Uh, I'm gonna get the hot tank from here, from this stage. Like crackers and sweets, uh huh. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, you know what? I don't care. I have too much health to spare. Man, Storm Tornado is really effective against like chunky enemies like that. Oh, love it. Uh, this this part gives me anxiety for some reason. Yeah, spikes just gives me anxiety, man. Hit it! Ooh, almost touch it. Oh. Ow. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Almost missed that. Ow. Oh. 
Okay, so so far um, of all the soundtracks you have you listened to, which one is your favorite soundtrack? Boss battle. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, ah, here we are back again. Okay, so from here you want to switch to the boomerang cutter and you want to fire from this spot. Approximately this spot. It should get it for, for you. Oh no, okay. Step back a bit. Ah, there you go. Ta da! Alright, nice. And with that, you can exit stage. Okay, we have one last boss to battle, which is uh, this guy over here. Let's go. Who we got? Stink Million. No, was well, well, some of the boss weaknesses are um, are kind of obvious, like um, elemental wise. Uh, like for example, Chill Penguin's weakness is Fire Wave because you know obvious fire and ice. Uh, well, most of other bosses' weaknesses, right, are uh, because of attack patterns. So yeah, don't be fooled into thinking that just because um, yeah, well, not not all bosses. Uh, weak to elemental damage. Does that make sense? Oi. Okay, so there are two secrets here. So what you want to do is from here, you want to drop down here. There is a secret spot here. Okay, so you can use your leg armor to destroy the rocks. Yeah, and this is this is pretty much underwater. So you can only this water this area will be flooded with water only if you have defeated a launch octopus before. And uh, with water, you are able to travel significantly further, uh, jump significantly higher. So from here, you want to do a dash jump from this ledge over here to the right. You cannot see it, but trust me, there'll be something for you to grab on. Cool. <sighs> Ta-da! Hot tank. Is it an evil Mega Man? Oh, I'm not sure, you know. I think there is. I'm not sure. Maybe there isn't? I don't know. Okay, so from here you want to do... Uh, you want to climb up this wall as well. And, uh... Let's see. What should I do? Okay, there is a sub-boss here. So the weakness is the eye above him, and uh, yeah, it will take a while for you to defeat him because he has a lot of health points, and it's difficult to shoot at the the red dot just uh, above his head. I think that's his head. Okay, you know what? Let's try something. Yeah, you want to... You want to stay out of his reach because he has a very long arm and he can grab you. So yeah, you want to stay as far away from him as possible. He's happy with a single move set. <laughs> but I can show you what his moves are. But you gotta... Ooh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so this is what, what he does when if you get too close to him. He will grab you and then he will smash you against the wall. Ouch. Okay, let's try something else. Oops. Whoa, hey, come on now. Oh, okay, maybe this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. He's starting to smoke. Can't catch me. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, see, that's what happens. Move.
Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, come on. Can't believe I'm having difficulty with this guy. Not even the main boss. Why are you giving me so much trouble? There we go, finally. Wow, this boss takes more time than the previous bosses got here. I know, right? That's why. Okay, so if you defeat him, there will there will be a fourth capsule and the last one for you to get. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. Mm -hmm, very nice. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Oh, nice. I'll take it. Ta -da! And with that, X is fully decked out in his new armor. Nice. So yeah, any damage that you take will be significantly less. Hello. Would you watch a Mega Man movie? Hey, why not? I would like to. You know, just maybe like learn the lore and all that. I I I uh I know a little bit about the lore. Uh but not the full uh the full thing. So yeah. I might learn something new. Why not? I think there is though. Ah, oh, this guy. Yay, life. Let's go. Go away. Alright, okay, so it's a boss battle time. So for Sting Chameleon, his weakness is a boomerang cutter. Alright. Speaking of lore, I recently saw someone comment on the Star Wars pick where Darth Vader visited the tomb of his wife. Ooh! Is that right? Okay. Okay, so yeah, it is not that difficult. You can basically just like stun lock him. Oh no. Pa! Dead. The person commented, I see two coffins. Damn! Ooh, really? Darth Vader, tomb of his wife. Two coffins. Alright, okay, so you get Chameleon Sting. Nice. So it fires three shots in three directions. Duck, isn't it? 
two coffins. Uh, I think I can imagine. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Alright, okay, so if you have, once you have defeated 8 bosses, you will be able to face up against, go up against Sigma, the final boss. Because Vader is wearing his. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Vader is wearing, wearing his. Okay, okay. Alright, okay, so uh, with that, I think I'm gonna stop this video, this episode right here. Uh, because, um,. Sigma's Fortress would be additional 4 stages and I will just do that again on the next uh, playthrough. Alright, so uh, with that, yeah, I hope you enjoy this part, okay? It, it is a short series, alright? Yeah, Mega Man X games are usually quite short, but not really very long. Alright, thank you, thank you. So yeah, with the next, uh, with the next part, I will be taking down Sigma. Okay, and uh, yeah. Hope that you will uh, join me again for the next time, and I hope you enjoyed this part. Thanks for watching again, once again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.